Hello folks, it's Barry here. Welcome to my virgin kitchen. Today we are making some absolutely gorgeous uh, chocolate brownies. Off the back of the hoverboard video, you guys were like, how do you actually make those properly? So I'm gonna show you how. They are super stonkingly good. If you'd like to have a go, uh, hit pause, write down all of these ingredients, and this is how we do it. The first step could not be simpler. All you need to do is get a bowl, put your flour in it, and then also uh, put your cocoa powder in it, like so. We just mix it together like this. Face optional, we got that. Yeah, so just a little mixy mix like that to incorporate it together. And congratulations, you are now cooking. Put it to one side. The next step involves our butter, and the ingredients that we need is actually slightly less than a block of butter. So snip a bit off, cha ching, uh, like this. I did already cut that, I can't just rip butter. Uh, and then just wax on, wax off, Karate Kid style, greasing uh, your proposed baking dish, and the rest of the butter goes in a bowl like this. Yep, so we've got our greased dish and this uh, slab of butter, the main amount that we need, uh, we're just gonna unwrap this. It's already at room temperature, uh, as you can see. I'm just gonna break it up a little bit as well. Oh yeah. My hands are clean, by the way, but you should really use a knife. Looking back, this is probably a really silly thing to do. Alrighty, I'm back. So uh, the chocolate, bash it up like that, and then just pour it straight into the bowl. All right, that is both the uh, blocks of chocolate in there and we need a teeny bit less than two bars, so... Uh... Yeah. All right, so that is going in my microwave. It's going on there for blasts, okay? 30 second blasts until it's all melted together, the butter and the chocolate combined. You could do this over a pan of simmering water if you like. I always do it that way, but I thought I'd do a little shortcut today. Yes. So that was two minutes in 30 second blast. Lovely, it's quite warm though. So we're just gonna put it over there uh, with our cocoa powder flour mixture to cool down. All right, Boston? We do it, mate? Thinking about brownies, yeah? Right, so we're nearly there. All we're doing is cracking three eggs uh, into a bowl. Look out, do a little sort of hunt, like a forage uh, for shell. We don't want shell in the bowl. And we're gonna add our sugar in there. Yeah, so in goes the sugar, completely coating that. Now, there's two ways you can do it. You could get the electric whisk, or you can go pretty much crazy man style and go like that. I'm gonna do that for the old school people, for the veterans, yeah. And of course, make sure there's no shell in it. I need to get a shell t-shirt made up as well, don't I? I think I'm done. Amazing, so it's nice and light and doubled in volume. Check this out, this is our room temperature chocolate mixture going right in there. Make sure it is room temperature, okay folks? Do that for me, please do it, do it. And all we're gonna do is swirl it through like that. That marbly effect is gorgeous by the buttocks of Henry VIII. Amazing, loving it. Oh my gosh, look at that color. Augustus Gloop himself would love to swim in that. Let's get the flour and cocoa powder. So in goes our cocoa powder and flour. If you're feeling posh, you can sift it in there. But the most important step is to fold it through, okay? So like fold it, like when you're folding your t-shirt after you iron it and stuff. Uh, just lift it through and get all that air. You wanna keep as much air in it as we can. The brownie batter is ready. We're gonna add our chocolate in now. Now, I believe a brownie is brown, so it shouldn't have white chocolate in, but if you want to, you could do it at this stage. Now, I'm gonna go for some rough chocolate. So I'm taking like chunks and then just sort of halving it so I've got nice uh, shards and chucking it in. So do that, like grate it up if you want, nice fine chocolate, chocolate chips, anything you want, baby. Just don't eat it. What do you think of all this, mate? Happy? Good. Chocolate chunks are all in there now, just a little fold to randomize it inside there. So let's pour our chocolate brownie mixture into that bowl. Oh my gosh. Get as much out of the bowl as you can. Of course, you can lick the bowl, any leftovers you've got, and just smooth it out. Oh yes, and now it's time, folks, to bake them inside our preheated oven. <sighs> Here's some options of what you can do while you're waiting for it to bake. You could pretend you're the King of England. Oh. Uh, you can wash up, but that's pretty mandatory. You can dance with your dog. You could play a child-friendly video game. Or of course you can do the sensible thing of keeping your eye on it while it bakes. All right, folks, so this is just under 20 minute stage. I wanna show you, it's got a little bit of a wobble still uh, in the middle, that is not good. So I reckon it's gonna be about 25 minutes, okay? I'll let you know any minute now. Oh my goodness, 25 minutes wobble free. It smells incredible in here. The other thing I hate waiting for is it for it to cool down. So Boston, it's just pretty keen right there. I'm gonna take him for a little walk and then we'll have a taste. Alrighty, I'm back from my walk and I'm just gonna cut them in the tray like that, nice and simple. Don't even need to cut it, they're so soft. The knife is just sliding through it. So I'm gonna go for big 
nine old squares like this, so good. Shiver me timbers, I have whacked them down on a plate and they are looking so good. I wanna lick them up and down till they say stop. It's time to bite one. Oosh. It's so rich and delicious guys. And if you don't take my word for it, my friend Gary's just turned up. So while you check out my other links to last videos, let's get his reaction too. Mm. <laughs> All good? Mm. One happy customer. My mind's telling me no. <laughs> oh, Kelly moment. Mm. Yeah, guys. Bye bye. <laughs>